the field is new relative to other ones like um, you know x-ray astronomy or if you talk about um, doing calculations in with quantum mechanics numerically so this started in the mid 70s okay? and the idea is that uh, Einstein equations that describe uh, how gravity especially in the strong regime behaves it's a fairly complicated system of equations so if we want to obtain solutions to those equations that represent astrophysical systems, okay, we're forced to use numerical methods to obtain those solutions because the analytic solutions uh, are very few. For instance, the one representing a single black hole, yes, we know an analytic solution for that. But if you have a system in which you have a black hole interacting with matter in the neighborhood, or if you have two black holes interacting with each other. Okay. A solution that represents that system from Einstein equations, the only hope that we have is using numerical methods with the help of supercomputers. So that's how the field of numerical relativity started. And uh, for many years, okay, until about uh, three or four years ago, we struggle finding those solutions. Okay. It was very difficult to write a computer program or a computer code that uh, gave us a solution that represented those binary systems involving black holes. So there were some very important breakthroughs three or almost four years ago that now allow us to do those simulations almost routinely. This type of research gets us a better knowledge of our neighborhood in this universe. So that is what uh, I think uh, uh, make some of us wanted to spend uh, our lives doing this type of research. The problem of two black holes colliding, two black holes in spiraling and getting closer together to the point in which they merge and produce a single black hole, uh, I believe is the ultimate expression of Einstein's theory of general relativity. That's where the theory okay, unveils all its uh, uh, features, how rich the theory is. So from the point of view fr of Einstein's theory of relativity is, is, is one of the crucial problems to study by itself. Now there is also the uh, astrophysical side to studying uh, binary black holes and is that uh, there are estimates that uh, nature provides examples of those systems, that is stars at the end of their lives go supernova and leave behind objects like black holes and it's likely that uh, there will be instances in which we have two of those objects okay, orbiting, they lose energy, they approach each other and they merge. So it is very important also for us to understand that uh, uh, phenomenon and in order to do that, we had to have a good handle of the theory that describes that phenomena. And that theory is Einstein's theory of relativity, or we believe that is Einstein's theory of relativity. And uh, it is our job as numerical relativists to come up with the solutions that represent how two black holes merge and help observational efforts. For that. So the bottom line is that the importance is both intrinsic to the theory of general relativity to understand the mathematical aspects of the theory and also to make the connections with uh, astrophysical systems that we believe are there. In the field of physical sciences and uh, you know astrophysics and mathematics uh, the implications are direct. Okay? By doing these calculations that uh, uh, are aimed at simulating how black holes merge that is solutions to the Einstein equations, we're going to understand, as I say, a little bit more about the theory itself. We're actually going to be able, hopefully, to, with those solutions, with that, um, with the results that we obtain by simulating black holes and comparing those with the observations, we're going to be able to test Einstein's theory of general relativity. So the implication from the point of view of physics is that we're going to test the theory, we're going to learn more about uh, what the theory is telling us. There's also uh, implications in astrophysics and astronomy. 
And beyond that, I will say that the complexity of the simulations pushes us to develop new numerical techniques, also pushes the supercomputer technology because we are in, in need of supercomputer equipment that allows to explore more parameter space, to consider more complex systems uh, of black holes. So we can also see the impact in pushing supercomputer technology. With respect to uh, the broad science, of course, it's, uh, it's like with everything that we do in, 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 in science, I think that uh, there are indirect benefits of uh, these studies. Uh, th there are results okay, that when recast in a different way could help other scientists to solve their own problems. Okay. So I think that uh, it depends uh, of which area of science that we're talking about, the degree to which these calculations uh, or this area of research have its impact. Most of the frontier research that has been done in numerical relativity has been done with supercomputers. That's not to say that you cannot do interesting science with uh, desktops or uh, with a more modest equipment. I mean, there is, uh, there are opportunities to do research are all scales, but if you want to go and try to get uh, a more complete okay, uh, picture of a system that because of the complexities require high performance computing, the only way that one can do is with supercomputers and it's always the, uh, every time that a new uh, system gets deployed uh, our community tries immediately to get access to that because uh, we know that then that opens the opportunity or the opens the door to a broader range of problems that we're going to be able to tackle. I was invited to give a talk here and I learned more about what Georgia Tech was looking for and uh, the interest in creating or establishing a new effort in relativistic uh, astrophysics. I became interested in talking with the students, faculty, the chair of the School of Physics, uh, people at the College of Computing, Dean, Provost, it was clear to me that uh, this place uh, is different from what I was used to and what I've seen in other universities.